I've realized now that it takes so long to restore a car that it's actually not about the, the end product for me anymore. I enjoy the building. I enjoy taking something that's old and you know, making it perfect again. Journeyman is a place that I can come to after work and it's just a place just to absolutely relax and unwind and be completely at ease with myself. Hi, I'm Graham Webb. My everyday job is a property developer. My real passion in life, which not a lot of people know about, is actually restoring cars and just anything to do with cars, pretty much. Hi, I'm Harley Nash. I'm from Cape Town, South Africa, and we have a family engineering business, Tennis Engineering. We do sort of prototyping, R&D, uh, short production runs, and just general engineering. I had some things I wanted engineered and machined and I sat down with Harley's dad, Don. He took 30, 40 minutes out of his day just to sit with me and help design this really tiny little bit for my car and I thought that was absolutely amazing. It landed up on my workbench and I noticed that it was a, a part for a classic mini, something that I was building at the time as well. Yeah, so Graham came in and picked up his parts and saw he was a sort of similar age and you know, I think right from the beginning we got off on, this, on the right foot, you know, we both had the same similar passions and interests. Next thing we knew without even trying we were just bouncing ideas off one another. And then yeah, we eventually realized that we wanted to like build cars or you know build engines or work together and we cleared up a space at my workshop i think after doing that for a couple of months it was such a mission going up and down the stairs and um, that we were kind of getting tired of it and we we're thinking to try and find some more space and then crazy enough there was a break in next door so i came to, our, to dennis at like four in the morning climbed up on the roof and i saw this big hole in the roof and um, I saw that there was an open workshop literally next door to this business. Next day I got in touch with, the, with our neighbor and you know, basically sort of begged him to see if we could have the space. Graham came in, we, you know, we got the construction guys in, we bashed a hole through the wall, uh, we signed the lease, we sort of got together as a group of friends, all with similar passion and similar interests and you know, it just happened so easily. The other guys that are here are just all like-minded people that are passionate about cars and engineering and working together and bouncing ideas off one another. Suddenly we all had support and could support each other. I get days when I absolutely hate metalworking. Sometimes I, I dislike it so much that I'm just saying, Holly, I'm ordering new panels from overseas and don't argue with me. And somehow he manages to talk me out of it. And next thing I've produced something that's got three different radiuses on four radiuses and I look back to myself and it's in the car and it's sprayed and you just think, what did I make that? That's absolutely amazing. Having Dennis next door to Journeyman just made like all the sense in the world because from, from our business's point of view, we already had all the structures, all the systems for ordering pieces, material, consumables, parts. There was no more having to stop what you're doing to drive to a shop to go buy a nut and a bolt. Everything was there and it was easily accessible and neatly organized and easy to find. The attention to detail which he has within his business, we've carried that through into the details of our car. I'd always remember hearing these stories from my dad and seeing the little picture in his office of him with his little journeyman stamp from when he was a journeyman. My understanding of it from his old stories was that you know, before you became a full-blown artisan, you had to go through your journeyman. And it was where you weren't quite an expert, but you were learning a trade. The journeyman thing for me is about learning and, you know, about growing together. I think a real good way to express that was with Sasha, a guy we met off Gumtree, a German guy. He'd been in South Africa for like six months and he wanted to restore a motorbike. I thought, Obviously Sasha knows what he's doing, he must have his own tools and he said cool I want to be part of it and came in and took a spot. We soon realized that Sasha had all the passion in the world for it and loved motorbikes and had, knew exactly what he wanted in the picture but you know the, the skills to do it himself weren't really there and it was so fulfilling to me to work with Sasha and show him that he could actually do it himself. That was a really nice thing for me and it was something that I wasn't expecting to get out of it. 
you know, some days I come into the workshop and we just drink tea and it's two, three hours worth of drinking tea and just talking nonsense. And it, it's that type of relationship that was something that I never, ever expected to get a journeyman. Originally it was just somewhere that we could, you know, build our cars. You know, we didn't have a space to physically put together our restoration projects. But I don't think any of us ever dreamed or thought that it would end up being so much more. The relationships and the friendships that we've all got from this is way more than I think any of us could have ever expected.